everybody this is Diana from so very crafty and we are here today to make another beginner sewing project that anyone with basic sewing skills can make and what are we going to make we are going to make bow scrunchies today and bow scrunchies are a simple beginner sewing project that anyone with basic sewing skills can make and they are a lovely addition to hold back your hair any time of the day or even in the evening depending on the fabric that you choose we've chosen this fun fat quarter pa pa uh, pa fabric today to make our bow scrunchies and believe me you can use scraps you can use a fat eighth a fat quarter some remnants whatever you have on hand to make this super simple project so how do we do, how do we make them let's get started the first thing we are going to do is we are going to print out our pattern piece and I will link the pattern uh, to this video and, or you can head over to www.soberrycrafty.com and get the pattern piece and the pattern looks just like this it looks like a, a bunny ear and if you'll notice from this pattern piece it says to cut two which you will do but you will also cut this on the fold you will notice on one end, the flat end of the bunny ear, if you will, there will be uh, little words that say fold and you are going to cut it on the fold of your fabric. And our fabric looks like this. We have our fold and we will simply place it on the fold and cut around, making sure not to cut the fold. So when we open it out, we have a bunny ear on each end and a fold in the middle and we are going to have two of those that are identical. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to have one piece of fabric that is three inches wide by 14 inches long. That's three inches wide by 14 inches long and that's it. That's all we need on our fabric pieces just a small amount. The next thing we are going to need is a one quarter inch piece of elastic. Just this small thin piece of elastic that measures six and a half inches. Six and a half inch along one quarter inch wide piece of elastic. You'll notice that, that the elastic is smaller than our piece of fabric because that's what's going to make this a scrunchie. The other thing that you're going to need is you are going to use a safety pin in order to get that elastic through our scrunchy part of our uh, fabric. The next thing that you are going to need is you are going to need a poking tool. And the poking tool that I like to use is that purple thing. And that's what it's called. It's called that purple thing and it's just a purple poking tool. And I will put the link for this uh, item in the description section of the uh, video so that if you want to purchase this, you can go ahead and click on the link. It'll take you over to Amazon and you can purchase this item. It is a terrific little poking tool. It's good for a lot of different things and I really like it. Um, this is an affiliate link, so I might get a little bit of a commission if you purchase it, but uh, it is something that I use all the time for poking out my uh, corners and my um, uh, turning my uh, projects. So I would recommend that purple thing if you get a chance to purchase that. So let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to take our long piece of fabric and we are going to fold it right sides together. And for those of you who are very beginner sewists, right sides together means the pretty side, the side that we want to face us when the, our project is finished. We want to make sure that those are right sides together and we are going to sew a seam all along the long edge of this piece of fabric making sure that our raw edges are lined up and we are going to use a one quarter inch seam allowance we don't need any more for this project 
uh, because we're not going to be wearing it as a garment or anything of that nature. So a one quarter inch seam allowance is perfectly fine. So let me head over to the sewing machine and we are going to sew our single seam straight down one quarter inch. Okay, now we're back. We have what is a tube of fabric. We're just gonna cut off these uh, excess threads because we don't need them in our project. Just cut those off. Simple enough. And now we are going to turn this so that the pretty side or the right side is facing out. This is a little bit of a fidgety project uh, process, but it's really not difficult at all. Just take your time and push this fabric through the tube so that it's right sides out. And this is where our poking tool becomes uh, very helpful because we can just poke this right through the middle of our tube and it will turn right sides out in no time at all. There, that wasn't so difficult. And that purple thing comes in nice and handy to do that. If you don't have that purple thing, you can use a chopstick or some other type of poking tool in order to get your uh, tube right sides out. Um, the next thing that we are going to do uh, before we move on is we are going to take our tube and we are going to head over to the iron and we are going to press it. The one thing that we want to make sure that we do is take our seam and make sure that it is at the back of our scrunchie. So this seam that we've sewn, we want it to be on the back just like this because we don't want to see it when we are uh, putting it in our hair. So let's go over to the iron and then sew this or press this so that it's nice and flat. Okay, now we're back. We have a nice flat piece of fabric with our seam in the middle. And our next step is we are going to add our elastic. So we're gonna take our one quarter inch piece of elastic and our safety pin. We are just going to stick our safety pin at the end and we are going to feed it through the tube that we've created with our fabric. And you can see that the fabric is scrunching up just the way that we want it, but we wanna make sure that this elastic does not pull all the way through. So we're gonna hold it with one finger while we're scrunching this up it's really not that difficult there's plenty of space here to scrunch this up and pull this out through the other end now you can see that the scrunchie is coming together we have our elastic at both ends. We can unclip the we can unclip the safety pin. Pull it out. Now we are going to overlap our pieces of elastic. We are going to head over to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch right across the short ends of the elastic here then we're going to flip it over and we're going to stitch on the short ends on the other side to make it nice and secure so that when we pull on our elastic it doesn't come apart so let me head over to the sewing machine and sew this uh, one quarter inch elastic and we'll be back and we'll go to our next step okay so we have 
sewn our elastic together. I want you to keep in mind that it's a little fidgety because the elastic is so small, but it's easily done. And now we have our elastic that we can pull apart with no problem, but we have these raw ends that we have to deal with. Super simple. We are going to take one of the raw ends and we are just going to fold those ends inside each other so that it is uh, nice and neat and those raw ends are on the inside and we don't have to see them anymore. So there we have it, nice neat raw ends and the next step is to simply stick in our other ends inside those folded raw ends so that we now have no raw ends around our bow scrunchie or our scrunch the scrunchie part of our bow scrunchie. So we are going to head over to the sewing machine and we are going to secure these edges by sewing a stitch or two, or a line or two, all the way across this nice folded edge, catching all of the layers. In other words, you want to sew through the folded edge, the raw edge underneath, and the elastic that's inside. I would sew a couple of lines to make sure everything is nice and secure and we'll be back for our next step. Okay, so we are back and we have sewn our edges and our scrunchy part of our bow scrunchy is completely finished. So we can use this just to hold our hair together if we like. It's perfectly fine, but this is a bow scrunchie, so we want to make the bow. So what do we need to do to do that? Well, very simple process. We are going to take our two uh, double ear pieces, if you will, and we are going to put them right sides together. In other words, we are going to place them pretty sides together and we are going to stitch them all the way around starting say right about here in the middle of one of those ear pieces. We're going to stitch all the way around all the way around until we get to the, just past the fold line because we need to leave an opening here so that we can turn our ears right sides out so that the pretty side or the right side is facing us. So we are just going to stitch a seam uh, all the way around using one quarter inch seam allowance and making sure that we leave that opening so that we can turn it. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm going to uh, sew that seam for us and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Let's cut off these extra threads here because we don't want those in our project. And as you can see, we have our little opening here for turning. I am also going to cut these tip ends close to the stitching but making sure we don't go through the stitching. That's going to give us a nice crisp uh, point. And just as a reminder, when, when you are stitching these points, as you're sewing down to the point, stop at the point end with your needle down, maneuver the fabric to go in the opposite direction, and then start stitching again. That will give you a nice neat little point. Uh, clipping off those edges also gives you a nice neat point. The other thing you could do if you wanted to is to clip 
along these edges here, the rounded edges, just up to the stitching to give you uh, a nice curved edge. You don't really need to do it for this project um, because it is just a scrunchie. It, it's completely up to you, but you do want to uh, make sure you do it all around the curved edges if that is your desire. Uh, and it will give you a nice curved edge. Just make sure that you don't go through the stitching um, because that would be disastrous. So now all we need to do is turn this right sides out. We're just going to reach inside, turn it right side out. No problem. Again, we can use our purple thing. To push these ends out. Now you can see that we're getting a nice pointy end on our bow because we have clipped off those corners. We've used our purple thing to get that corner nice and pointy on both ends. And as you can see, we have our, our bow the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to head over to the iron and we're going to give this a nice press. Now we have given our bow a nice press, but the last thing that we need to do for our scrunchie is to close up this hole that we created for turning. I'm not going to show you how to do that here, but all you need to do is do either a whip stitch or what I prefer is a ladder stitch and you can just go on YouTube and type in ladder stitch and there's some great videos on how to do ladder stitch which is also known as invisible stitch that will help you to close this opening up so you won't even know that it was ever open. Um, ladder stitch is a fantastic stitch to do and you can complete your uh, bow scrunchie just like that no problem at all now once you've closed that ladder stitch up and that opening up using ladder stitch the next thing you do is find the area where you sewed your pieces together you are going to stick your bow inside of this scrunchie tie your bow just like this, nice and tight. Make sure that your bow ends are nice and even and you have created a terrific little bow scrunchie in about 10 minutes or so with no problems at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please take the time to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel so that I can provide you more beginner sewing projects that anyone with basic sewing skills can make. So once again, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank you and good luck on making this project.